and we're on, so you can hear us. Okay, cool. Hi there, Bree Cunningham again here at Doc SF, and I have the pleasure of interviewing Topher. Topher is at Under Armour, and tell us about your role at the organization. Great to be here, Bree. Um, I am our. Uh, I work with Under Armour and lead three of our um, sport categories. So I head up. I'm the group general manager for training, run, and our outdoor categories, and, and we look uh, at Under Armour at uh, all of our products through a lens of how it will it impact, how will it make athletes better, mm -hmm. and um, how do we make each individual consumer better um, in the way they live their lives, and their, and their goals to have a healthy and well-lived life. Mm -hmm. Now, was that always the vision of Under Armour to utilize that data, or is this something that you've you shifted over time? You've really pioneered, pioneered the sports industry with this. Under Armour, everything at the combine and the data utilization is is um, is amazing. Well, How'd you get there? It's really cool. I mean, we've got a great origin story. Kevin Plank is a very inspiring entrepreneur. It's really one of the great American uh, success stories. You know, 1996, he was a football player at uh, the University of Maryland and really looked at technology through what would be considered now a traditional lens of technology using product um, apparel in this case, uh, a, a wicking shirt that would enhance the performance of on-field uh, athletes across the world. And, um, and it was that insight of how you can unlock performance through simple apparel technology mm -hmm. that spurred a way of operating inside the company, which has always been centered around looking for solutions to make athletes better and looking for technologies to make athletes better. And, and by and large, like the first 15 to 20 years were really dedicated to apparel and footwear solutions mm -hmm. that could transform athletes' performance. Mm -hmm. We've, in the last five to six years, really evolved our learning about athletes um, into how technology, mm -hmm. uh, from the standpoint of data, can unlock an athlete's performance. Mm -hmm. And to that end, we really look not only at an athlete's experience at the moment they're performing mm -hmm. or training, but we look at the complete life of an athlete mm -hmm. Uh, and so we look at how are they training, how are they competing on game day, but what are they doing for recovery, what are they doing for nutrition, and how are they living all 24 hours of their day. Uh, and that really, and so we started to build technology solutions that would tap into that 24 hours of an athlete's life and building software platforms that would capture that data. Today we now have, we have an online digital community of over 225 million in our community. And so we can start to see um, where athletes are um, having challenges in their training cycle, in their recovery cycle, um, in their com competing cycle. And so really our solutions have been around how do we build a dashboard for athletes around the world that um, can capture all of those elements of their day in one centralized location, and then how can we use that data to help coach them and help inspire them and motivate them in the community. Data utilization, so you're collecting all this information, you have great things, you're putting it into dashboards. What are some utilization stories? Well, I mean, for us, we, we use some really simple things. For example, we were looking at runners. You know, there's just in the U.S. alone, there's about 58 million runners. It's the most accessible sport in the U.S. And we have, um, through our software app universe or ecosystem, we've we capture enormous amount of data. We can see when people are, uh, uh, have injuries, when those uh, injuries are leading to uh, significant periods of time off, and we can correlate those to their weight, their height, the distance they're running, and all these different things. And, and what we heard, and we also know that stride and stride length and cadence are one of the lead indicators of um, what can create injury uh, for an athlete. And so we looked at that and using that data have uh, developed 
uh, uh, an emerging sensor technology that we're embedding into our shoes that can give a much more precise understanding of cadence, stride length, and help uh, ideally prevent injury in the future and give, uh, give runners just an insight of like, hey, what's working, what's not, and help coach them for that. So we're really looking at the data to help us um, create new solutions for uh, athletes and new solutions also within our products to make athletes better. I love it. And I'm not a runner, but I do, am an athlete. And I could see that data being super helpful. But let's put the healthcare lens on here for a second. That data is also really interesting to orthopedic surgeon, right? So if you're like Dr. Beanie and you want to take the best care of your patients, how are you incorporating that data with healthcare providers? Well, it's, it's interesting. I think we're still in the early phases. I think a lot of people and a lot of companies uh, are in the early phases. But, you know, I, th I think about that moment, uh, you know, a patient comes in and talks with a doctor. Today, they have no data to really provide to a doctor. So they're just giving um, their subjective point of view of how they're feeling. And they may give either a negative bias to their view or a positive bias to their view, but it's purely subjective. Um, and most often, uh, you know, an athlete isn't really able to connect with their doctor until they do some standardized testing. Imagine if a doctor could have the ability and a patient would have the ability to bring their entire dashboard of their life, their athletic life, into a visit with an orthopedic surgeon and really see um, how are they uh, using nutrition, how are they using recovery, how are they using training and competing, and the data that comes along with all of those silos of their life, I think it can create a, a more robust picture for uh, a surgeon to, or a doctor to really prescribe a path forward that can optimize their potential. I love it. And, you know, they talked a lot about in the earlier sessions at the conference about technology that's helpful and useful for surgeons in real time in workflow, right? So all this great pieces of information, how do you package it and make sure that it's usable for the surgeon? What's Under Armour doing to make sure that it's in the right format and usable for providers? Yeah, we launched in 2016 what we call HealthBox, and HealthBox is, is basically... Um, our point of view of how we capture all of the elements of an athlete's life into one consolidated platform that allows an athlete, in this case a patient, to come in to a doctor and share with them their complete uh, life uh, in terms of how they're pursuing their athletic pursuits. And that can just create a much better interaction between the patient and the doctor to really get at the root cause and what the solutions could be for them. In 2018, what do you think is going to be the theme for Under Armour and the, 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 te the data behind um, your products? I think the big move in technology going forward uh, is around frictionless experiences for consumers. So still today, you've got wearables, you've got apps, everyone's rolling with their phones. Those are all good, but they still they create a lot of friction in a consumer's life. And so we think the, the, the kind of frontier now is about frictionless experiences with technology. How do you embed technologies into uh, your everyday life to the point where they you don't feel them, you don't notice them, you don't know they're there, but they're constantly providing you feedback on um, how you're moving throughout the course of your day. And I think so I think embeddables are uh, a big uh, a big focus in the future. I love it. And how does one get access to that data um, from like the combine that you guys have been collecting? <laughs> Obviously, I mean, uh, there's proprietary like, information, and uh, we we uh, we we uh, scrutinize privacy of of, of course uh, both patients and um, uh, consumers' and data. data. Yeah, so absolutely. Can... But um, but we also recognize that there's a power in in um, recognizing trends, and we're able to see some of those trends on a broader uh, I mean, re level. From return to play to those little nuances, I can just imagine how um, helpful that is for, for for athletes and and the providers taking care of them. You so so exciting what you guys are doing. Can't wait to listen to your speech well, and. Thank you very much. Thank you We're out. You.